Hi Joel, this is Dark here and in today's video we have some batteries. So like I said, in here should be batteries. The box is very nice sealed. Let's open it up to see what we have in. If you do have the batteries, sorry, I cannot. So we want to gently open this, but I cannot see where the end is, so I think we have it. Yes, here are our batteries. So here we should have 10 batteries. Oh, they are very nice. Connect, they are in pairs. So that's very nice. So as you can see here, so this is Samsung. Samsung 35E 2G25 Okay, I'm gonna use Let's open this I'm gonna use this battery And I'm gonna choose four random batteries and I will do Test on them to see how many milliamp hours have they because the seller says that these are 350 milliamp hours batteries. So we're gonna use this for I'm gonna mark a spot on them like I'm gonna do I'm gonna call it call them zits okay let's go to two this would be one three and let's do four. So I'm gonna use my little color charger and I'm gonna set them. Let's see what we have. So we have, we're gonna do fa fast test. As you can see, they are currently 44 milliohms. Let's go to the second one. So this is discharging and now so we have 3.82 we have 40 milliohms. Okay, let's start with number three. Oh, let's see where we have number one. Okay, like this. Number three, we have 3.9, 10 milliohms. So that's nice. And the last one is 37, 3.9. So they are all between 3.9 let me just hold on so here are on my computer you can see i bought these batteries from here here is store as you can see this let's open them up and see what is what it says so these are 3.9 
5 amp hours batteries and let's go to description as you can see so this is uh, nah this is this is change strange so LG Samsung batteries I don't know so standard capacity you can see from 3.3 to 3.5 amps and internal resistance is below 30 okay we will check this because only the color charger you have to check it a few times to see actual size actual resistance so the maximum charge current is 3.5 amps standard discharge current is 20 amps and that's it so now we have to wait for our batteries to 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 charge as you can see here on the picture it's JA1T and mine says Samsung so we're gonna see how much capacity do we have so stay tuned so I am back the test is finished let's see the results so the first battery is below 2 amp hours the second one also the third one also and the fourth one also is below the 2 amp hours so what can i say i am not very pleased with these results now only thing i have to check is the how much current can they produce so the discharge rate so so stay tuned so this is my test where i gonna check how much current these batteries can handle as you can see that's one two and three are here they are all, all around one 1950 milliamp hours as you can see all the others are pretty much the same so the seller says 3.5 amp hours can they handle so let's see how much current can they handle so we're gonna use like maybe that's four so let's check how much current can they handle as you can see the battery is 4.05 volts cut up voltage is 2.5 let's a little zoom in okay and let's start the test This is at one amp, as you can see, 3.9, that, so that's good. Let's go higher, two. Now we have the LED, that's good. So we have five amps, 3.7 volts. Okay, let's go higher. 10 amps, 3.3, okay. 3.3 so 15 amps and they are at 3 volts so that's good let's go to 20 as you can see they can handle 20 amps at 2.9 volts so that's good that's very impressed okay let's go down As you can see this battery can handle 
can handle 20 amps so it can handle 30 amps but my battery holder cannot so I've damaged the battery holder so now I'm gonna use this fully charged battery Z2 we have cut up voltage 2.9 we're gonna reset this okay exit so everything is at zero we're gonna use two amps so that's like 10 percent of the battery discharge current so i will take this battery out and put this battery in So as you can see 4.2 so it's fully charged we have 2 amps and let's start. So for me it will be like 1 hour for you it will be just a second. So I am back the test is over as you can see on my DL24P the test was completed in one hour and the capacity of the battery is 2 amp hours so not nearly 3.5 amps like the seller says so the cut up voltage was 2.5 volts as you can see I'm not very pleased with this seller so my recommendation is to buy from someone else thanks for watching if you like this video Put a thumbs up, subscribe and wait for my next video. See you. Silver Steve Dark out.